Hello everyone! Today in this crazy wilderness I'm gonna show you another very underutilized vegetable. Let's look at that. Somewhere in here it's hiding and I'm gonna find it for you. There it is. Pipturus albarescens. With all its leaves eaten by bugs. Probably just caterpillars with other bugs like it also. Look at that. See, there is one. Not many leaves left. Too shame, too shame. So today's episode is about small tree whoop, or a big bush called Pipturus. The one that grows here in the Philippines that I'm showing you is Pipturus arborescens. Pipturus whoops, come comprise of few species, all of which can be found in Southeast Asia and Polynesia. And the plant is most known in Hawaii, because in Hawaii they eat it as a vegetable, the leaves, and they also make a tea of it. They call it mamaki. Yep. So this one is the Philippine species. I've never seen the one from Hawaii, which is Pipturus albidus, <laughs> but I uh, I've seen uh, from the photos and the leaves that it looks very, very much like the same as this species. Yep. Pipturus arborescens. So as you can see here, there's no leaves left. It all been eaten. Yep. Caterpillars loves it and other bugs too. What a shame. Yep. So Mamaki can reach to uh, around 6 meters height. Well, you can keep it as a small bush if you trim it regularly. It grows very fast. If it have good compost soil, it can grow like 1 meter in a month or even more. Yep. And fresh leaves uh, are really nice as a vegetable. They have mild taste, nothing unique, but it has nice texture. It's rich in iron. It's very nutritious. It has some medicinal uses, like they give it to anemic people, to nursing mothers. And it's, it also has some antiviral properties. Okay, I'm gonna look for some that have more leaves than this one. And that one it's, looks so shabby. What a shame. Here's the villain. Look what it done to that leaf. Mamaki. See this? Young leaves are very soft and very nice to eat. Fresh, or you can cook it, boil it you know, in any way you want. Oops. That's how it looks like. So 
So here it is. This is Pipturus Argentus, and I would say that except for those few bites, it is at its best. Because as you can see, the leaves are pretty big. It can be still bigger than this one. And it's very juicy, it's very nice. It's rich in mucilage and therefore very nutritious. It's also rich in iron, it's given to anemic people. And it has some medicinal uses, including antibacterial and antiviral properties. So you can see about it on my blog, link below. Uh, very nice. As you can see here, once it gets bigger and starts to flower, it is getting smaller and are less juicy. But if you want, you can just cut plant like that and then it will start to produce those big, nice juicy leaves again until it will go and do some size and then will start to produce flowers again. So here, nice young picturus. This is probably arborescence, but the difference between arborescence and argentus is very, very slight. It's actually very hard to distinguish both species. And I've wrote about this problem in details in my blog. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is probably arborescence. So, you see, those young leaves are really nice. It's not tough, it's pretty soft. Sometimes it's even a bit crispy. It might have those very, very, very short, like like kind of a hers. It's not an issue really. It's still very nice to eat. Just like that, fresh. Very good vegetable. And once you plant it, you have it for many, many years. Of course, in uh, tropical regions, because it don't like cold winters at all. So, you can still grow it in pots if you are living in temperate climate regions, but it won't be very good. And it's in its best when it has a lot of good soil, a lot of space, because you know, already it can grow in the size of a small tree. So, uh, it can be still grown in pots, but it is really best vegetable for tropical and subtropical gardens. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. I really like it. The taste is mild and it's mucilaginous, quiet a bit. What can I say more? First of all, nice, mild taste vegetable, nutritious. So here, in one place, you have three wonderful vegetables. A lot of stemma, conostegia, and young pipturus. And all three, although look so different, belongs to Urtikashi family of plants, which means they are related to stinging nettle, although I would say that pipturus have more in common with mulberries than with nettles.
Oh, look at that. It's really nice. Just the leaves here. But here it already starts to produce flowers. And these are male flowers. I have this flies in my eye. So this one is probably less than one year old. Although as you can see here it already starts to flower. These are male flowers. Female flowers are even smaller. Maybe I will find some more. The male and female flowers can appear both at one plant, but usually it's separated. Female and male plants. So, if you decide to plant Picturus, you better watch out for those tiny pests. I forgot its name. You will find it in my blog. They really like to eat Picturus. It can cause a lot of damage. See those holes? Yeah. A big shame. Well, we humans are not the only one that like it. It's very nice, nutritious plant. So this one is the female plant. So as you can see, it already starts to produce fruits. I can't see any. Oh, here are the female flowers. I don't know if it will focus properly so that you can see it well. But these are the female flowers and it quickly turns into fruits. So, you see, female and male next to each other. So these are the ripe fruits. As you can see, it's white, looks a bit like white mulberries. That's why in Australia they call it Australian mulberries because it grows in Australia as well. Yep. But fruits are more or less seasonal. Like here in the Philippines, they, they are for a few months, generally during the dry months. And the leaves are all year round, unless it's been eaten by caterpillars or other pests. As you can see, it can manage to grow even on the rocks. Yep, it loves rich compost soil, but it can adjust to quite harsh conditions.
Okay, and here we have it. Turtle's fruits.